Robert King Merton's Middle Range Theory Robert King Merton, one of the most influential sociologists of the 20th century, developed the concept of middle range theory as a way to bridge the gap between abstract, grand theories and specific empirical observations in sociology. Merton's middle range theory is not concerned with creating an all-encompassing, unified theory of society, nor is it focused on small-scale empirical research. Instead, it operates in between, providing frameworks that are grounded in specific social phenomena but broad enough to be generalized across multiple contexts. Merton proposed middle-range theories as a pragmatic approach to sociological research. He believed that grand theories, such as those of Marx, Weber, or Durkheim, often aimed to explain all aspects of social life but were too abstract and removed from observable data to be empirically tested. On the other hand, strictly empirical studies tended to be too narrow and descriptive, lacking the theoretical depth needed to explain broader social patterns. Middle-range theories strike a balance between these extremes by offering testable propositions that are rooted in empirical reality, while still offering insights into broader social processes. One of the key features of middle-range theory is its ability to generate hypotheses that can be tested and refined through research. Merton argued that scientific progress in sociology could best be achieved by developing theories that explain specific aspects of social behavior, institutions, or processes. For example, instead of attempting to formulate a grand theory of social stratification, Merton's approach would involve developing a theory to explain particular facets of stratification such as social mobility or the relationship between education and economic inequality. These middle-range theories are then tested and revised through empirical observation, contributing to the broader body of sociological knowledge in a cumulative and incremental fashion. Merton's concept of middle-range theory has been applied in various fields of sociology, including the study of deviance social structure, and the sociology of science. In his own work, Merton used the idea of middle-range theory to explore phenomena such as the self-fulfilling prophecy, the role of unintended consequences in social action, and the social structures that influence innovation and scientific development. These examples illustrate how middle-range theory can offer meaningful explanations of social phenomena without overreaching into speculative or abstract territory. The self-fulfilling prophecy is a good example of a middle-range theory. It is not a grand theory that explains all of human behavior, but it offers a useful framework for understanding how people's beliefs and expectations can shape their actions and, in turn, the outcomes they experience. Merton developed this idea in a way that allows for empirical testing, providing a clear, focused explanation of how a specific social process works. Other examples of middle-range theories include theories of role conflict, reference group behavior, and the diffusion of innovations. These theories provide valuable insights into specific social phenomena while remaining grounded in empirical observation. Middle-range theory also plays an important role in guiding sociological research. By focusing on specific, manageable research questions, Middle-range theories help sociologists to structure their investigations in ways that are both theoretically informed and empirically grounded. This approach encourages sociologists to identify patterns and regularities in social life, to develop explanations for those patterns, and to test those explanations against real-world data. Over time, the accumulation of middle-range theories contributes to a richer and more nuanced understanding of social life. 
Merton's middle-range theory approach has had a lasting impact on the field of sociology. It provided an alternative to both grand theoretical systems and narrowly focused empirical research, offering a path forward for sociological inquiry that was both scientifically rigorous and practically useful. Middle-range theories continue to be a vital tool for sociologists as they seek to understand and explain the complex patterns of social life, offering explanations that are specific enough to be tested and refined, yet broad enough to be relevant across multiple contexts. In conclusion, Robert King Merton's middle-range theory represents a critical contribution to the discipline of sociology. By advocating for theories that are neither too abstract nor too narrow, Merton provided a framework for developing explanations of social phenomena that are both empirically testable and theoretically meaningful. This approach has allowed sociologists to build a cumulative body of knowledge that bridges the gap between grand theoretical abstractions and specific empirical findings making it a cornerstone of modern sociological research. Merton's legacy continues to influence the way sociologists think about theory, research, and the relationship between the two.